Hello, my awesome Aries. I missed you guys. Aries, I hope you're having beautiful holiday season with your loved ones. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on by watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation <clears throat> to you, Aries. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in the life, and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in the life, and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one over here wants to show up as extra message, very important. Oof. Yeah, problems with the soulmate situation. Yeah, it looks like you have people who are trying to uh, put their 15 cents into this relationship you have with your soulmate. Yeah, um, Aries, remember what's going on between you and your soulmate is between you and your soulmate. Be careful who you trust with your personal information because some people are gossiping, like to see drama. Yeah. Some people naturally love drama, love drama in their own life. They can get away from it and they love drama in other people's lives. So be very careful who you trust with your personal information, who you ask for advice. You have the answers within you. You don't need anyone's advice or approval. Yeah. You're still in a relationship with this person, though, because you're showing up as reversed Nine of Pentacles. So this shows me you still feel you that you are in a relationship, even though there are some serious problems with this connection, problems with communication, fights, disagreements. You still feel you are in a relationship with this person. Oh, my goodness. You feel like you just stuck there like you're not sure what to do you try you're trying to look at this whole situation objectively and make a final decision because you're not happy with this relationship the way it's going yeah yeah you're trying to be strong wait out and see what happens universe please show us hmm What's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? I feel I need to shuffle more. You know, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? The person that you're dealing with is um, concerned. They're concerned that they may lose you or are losing you. Yeah, they, they're waiting to see if you're going to communicate what you're going to say, but really, they should be reaching out to you. You feel you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. Yeah, you're tired. You love this person, but you feel that this is not going to work if you don't see major improvement soon. Yeah, you feel empty in this relationship. You feel emotionally unfulfilled, sad, bored. Yeah, you feel like, yeah, you see, they owe you major apologies, explanations. So they've made some serious mistakes. Um, yeah, this is you trying to make your final decision about this relationship. You feel like, you, you may have to let it go, even though you don't want to. You're going to be meeting people of quality. Look at this. Beautiful. This is you. By not clinging to this toxic situation, you are allowing 
blessings to enter your life. You're making room for positive new energy, people of quality to enter your life. Make sure you don't isolate yourself, Aries. Yeah, go to classy places. Yeah, this is you mingling. This is you getting to know new people of quality through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings, celebrations, through mutual friends and acquaintances. I love this for you. You've been through a lot. Yeah, let me see what's going on here. Hmm. You know, let me show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries universe and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you don't feel emotionally fulfilled in this relationship. You have very high standards for yourself. You are a catch in relationships. Yeah. Make sure that you never lower your standards for anyone. Yeah, this is you. Someone of value quality who has a lot to offer in a relationship. You deserve to be in a relationship with someone of high quality like you that matches your high vibration energy. Something's going on at your job. Yeah, something is going on at your job. So you're going to have an opportunity for either a new job, a raise, promotion, but you have jealousy towards you at your job. Somebody is sneaky, showing up here at your job as a sneaky fox, pretending to be friendly with you and um, being your friend, but really they not. Okay, so be careful who you trust at your place of employment. Uh, remember... They are your co-workers, not your friends, okay? Keep it all business. Don't let them drag you into the gossip circles. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Yeah. Let's see. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? This one's trying to hide from me. Let's see. This was a serious relationship between you two. Whether you were planning to be married, engaged, or married, or living together. Some of you are dealing with Taurus. Wow, well, they want to communicate with you so bad. They rush back towards you. But they're not good at communicating with you. Yeah, they're not good at initiating communication, expressing emotions. Yeah, the sword is pointing down. They love you a lot, but they don't show it. They don't express it for some reason. They don't make you feel loved. No, they don't make you feel appreciated. They try to let you go and they can't because they are emotionally attached. This person is unable to let you go. Mm. Being so deeply emotionally vulnerable like they are with you in this situation scares them because they can't control their emotions. They can't just turn them off when they feel like it. Yeah. See, this person's going within. They feel they need a long time to figure out what to do next because they're not able to let you go at least emotionally universe please show us they feel very connected emotionally and spiritually to you a lot of you are dealing with the sign of uh, cancer and um, pisces and virgo universe please show us hmm. hmm what's going on currently with that soulmate of aries and how is that soulmate of aries towards aries at this time especially emotionally also, Libra is showing up here. Yeah, you see, all of a sudden now they want to put work into this. They're so worried that you're going to be with somebody else. They're so worried that if they wait too long, somebody else will approach you. So there's somebody. I love the new soulmate's energy. I love it. One of my favorite kings, king of wands. There's somebody that somehow is connected or will be connected with you through job. Whether their job work of a uh, place of employment or your job your place of employment somehow you and your new soulmate are connected together through work or job or something to do with employment remember aries you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with right 
So just because you're meeting new soulmate doesn't mean you have to be with them, right? That you have to date them. No, you don't, unless you want to. The person that you letting go of, at least for now, is feeling very regretful, heartbroken, sad. They feel a lot of guilt for losing you. They feel at fault for losing you. A lot of you are dealing with Scorpio. Yeah. I knew we were going to see this eventually in this reading, and here it comes. I'm not surprised to see it. So based on their behavior and communication patterns with you, this is how you view them. Yeah, very immature, unstable, in and out of your life, not communicating effectively, not listening to your valid concerns, not making a solid commitment, not expressing emotions like they should. Yeah, you don't trust this person. You feel very disappointed in them. You feel drained. You feel unappreciated, unloved. <clears throat> You're going to be celebrating something to do with your work, job. Yeah, which makes sense why you have jealousy towards you. So you know that when people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you've been doing. Continue being proactive and passionate. Don't let people's negative energy affect you. You're beautiful. You are very intuitive, very psychic. Yeah, it's very important that you surround yourself with positive people when you are an empath like this. Yeah. Your energy is beautiful. Whether you're male or female, you are highly vibrational. Empress showing up again to describe your beautiful energy. Yeah, I love it. You have uh, high vibration energy, and this means you're very picky, selective with high standards. Yeah, you're not going to put up with this kind of behavior. No, the difference between you and your soulmate is like night and day. There's, you can't even compare you highly vibrational, not toxic, empress, which is combination of all four queens, and then just a page of swords. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. What a difference between them and the new soulmate that's entering your life. Huge difference. <clears throat> you see, they don't want to lose you. You see, they don't want to lose you. They're so scared that this is it. Hmm. I love the new soulmate's energy, the king of wands. And earlier they showed up as uh, three of cups. I love it. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. That Aries is letting go of, at least for now. You see, they don't want to lose you. Look how scared they are. I would say petrified that this is over, that you're done with them. There's something going on in this person's life. Uh, unfinished business with somebody, toxic situation, karmic connection. There's something that is needing to be ended. They need to, they're scared of changes. They're scared of commitment. They're scared of failing in commitment. Look, new soulmate again popping up here for you as King of Wands. I'm so happy for you. This new soulmate will be able to offer you something healthy, balanced. The person that you're letting go of, for now at least, views you as a challenge. They're not used to people of your high vibration. They're used to toxic relationships. You see this? You're not toxic. You stand out in a crowd of many. You have a lot to offer. This new soulmate is showing up as someone who is very passionate, who is successful, attractive. They are a catch. You see? They are somebody that you would want to have in your life long term. Yeah, not just for entertainment, but long term. We're going to go into your extended reading, Aries. Obviously, we're going to ask about both soulmates since they both showed up so strongly. The one that wants to come back for communication, clarity, and new soulmate that's entering your life. That showed up at least twice as King of Wands, one of my favorite kings. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you, however. Then we're going to ask... Uh, what they hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life, the king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. 
so Aries click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.